All right, so you want to install the G729 codec that everybody's talking about. All right, the first thing is you got to do is set in your free PBX settings, asterisk SIP settings. Uh, you want to um, check the G729 and make sure it's kind of near the top there. Now, you're going to have to go to a website called asterisk.hosting.lv, which looks like this. It has G729 and G723 codecs here sources, binaries, etc. So on the right we're going to choose Asterix 11 because that's the version we have. Now you're going to see all these on the top are all G723 codecs right there. The ones further down are G729s. Now there's so many to choose from, how am I going to choose? Well he kind of talks about, if you scroll up, he talks about which is which. So GCC4 you see that? And then there's x86-64, which is 64-bit stuff down here. So all these are the G729 32-bit codecs. And then each one is different for your CPU. You got a 64-bit CPU, you got to find which one to pick. Well, I have a 64-bit CPU, but what if I didn't know exactly what it was? Well, let's um, check out our server machine. All right, let's, uh, there's another program called CPU-Z, which looks like this, CPU-Z, which will show you what your CPU can do. So right here in the instruction set, MMX, SSE, 1, 2, 3, 3S, and 4. All right, see this VTX? On a side note, that reminds me, you want to go to your BIOS uh, on your server computer. Go to your BIOS, enable virtualization, I think it's called. I think it has something to do with the VTX there, virtualization. Basically, it'll give your server better performance when you're emulating through Oracle. Uh, you can Google it. You can do some more research on it. VTX, uh, I think it's virtualization in your BIOS, whatever. So anyway, my CPU is a Core 2 Dual. It can do 4.1, SSE 4.1. So that's good enough. So we can scroll down to the bottom here and see the 64-bit. We see Core 2, and then we see Core 2 with SSE 4. Well, it can support this, so we're going to download this one. So you download that one. Put it on your Windows computer. It's a .so file. Now, we have to transfer that to the server computer. Well, that's going to require another program. It's going to require a program called win um, S S C P win S C P. No, you just download it here, install it, get it, get it uh, going, open it up. We're going to add new 192.168.1.125, the typical IP. The username is going to be root, password is going to be the root password. Let's save it. Ah, uh, whatever. Save password, I don't care. Double click it to log in, hit yes. Now, you're gonna see your stuff here on the left. We're gonna go on the left, we're gonna choose our stuff. PBX, codex. All right, there's the codec I downloaded on my hard drive. Now over here, we gotta back up a directory using your backspace key. Uh, scroll down to USR user lib and then asterisk and modules and this is where all the codecs are if you scroll down a little bit it starts with C these are all the codecs that are installed by default there they are 722 726 whatever so let's uh, send this over there so you highlight it and hit F5 as this says copy copy it over there all right there it is now let's rename it you rename it by hitting F2 let's name it the same as everything else. Codec, it doesn't matter what it's named, but you might as well. G729, hit enter. All right, now it isn't quite, they say installed, they use the word installed. It's not quite installed as much as it's just copied over like that. And that's all there is to it. If you want to confirm it's there and confirm it's being read, you can connect to PuTTY again and type in this, ls space forward slash usr forward slash lib forward slash asterisk, forward slash modules, and hit enter. And you'll see all the green are all the default ones. The gray one is the non-default one, but it's still there. Now, after you do this, you actually have to do a, a restart, which is the AM portal restart again, 
which sometimes is instant and sometimes takes a while. So after you do that, we'll come back and we'll make a call using the G729 codec. All right, now that we got installed, let's go ahead and try it out in the phone, CSIP Simple. Go here, go to your settings, media, go down to codecs. Now let's select G729 for both fast and slow, just to make sure that it's going to be on. And it's selected there. Let's take out that one. I only use one at a time. Some people use multiple um, codecs at, at, at a time. I just use one. Um, all right, so we're going to back out twice. It should reconnect, re-register. And uh, we'll go into our TXT, which is our... Now, in the TXT, remember, you can um, actually type here with a keyboard. A keyboard will come up. And if you want to just dial... Like if, if somebody has a PBX account, for example, you know, that fill at pbxes.com or .org or whatever, if you hit dial, it'll actually call that directly. You don't need a phone number to do that. You, you just need the internet connection, Wi-Fi or even 4G. So that's how you do that. But we're actually just going to make a test call here. We're going to... Thank you for calling Comcast, home of Xfinity. Para continuar en español, marque el 9. As you can see, it's, uh, it's in purposes, the G729 codec right now, 8 kilohertz. Or recorded. Please enter the telephone number, including area code. It sounds pretty bad, though. It doesn't sound that great, right? Um, let's see what happens when we change that codec, though, to the G722. Like I said, um, it doesn't actually use uh, G722 over Google Voice, but I think it sounds really good. Make sure it's on 16. Codecs. I'm going to put G722. I'm a sucker for G722. All right, connected. Thank you for calling Blizzard Entertainment. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. For English, press 1. Para Español, oprima el 2. All right, that's how you do it. That's how you, quote, install a codec. It's just copying a file over. Um, I'm not sure what other codecs to get. There is one in particular I want. It's called Opus, O-P-U-S, and it's 48 kilohertz, and it supports up to 512 kbps. I mean, that's really high quality. Uh, I haven't figured out how to install it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it. I'm pretty happy with G722 and PCMU. That's that's basically all there is to it. Now, if you want to make test calls to yourself, hopefully you have somebody with a second phone to actually make test calls back and forth. Or you can install a program called Jitsi, J-I-T-S-I dot org. That actually has built-in SIP, and you can enter your credentials there, your IP address, your extension. You can go make a new extension in FreePBX exclusively for making test calls with yourself if you want. You would just go to extensions, go make a new one, set up the password and everything, and you can um, install a Jitsi program or another program that it's called Softphone. Softphone. It, it's a it's an application on your on your computer that it's able to make SIP phone calls through it. So you can use that to to call yourself, just your extension, but it still is a way to test to see if your phone is accepting calls and it hasn't quite been disconnected, you know, because it still works that way. Um, that's about it.